All right, I first wanted to thank Catherine for taking a little extra time so I can breeze through my slides a little quicker. I sat with her at lunch and she said that she'd do that for me. So my name's uh, Brent Moore. I'm the CEO of Can Telematics. Uh, we're from uh, Calgary, Alberta. And we're going to show you today how we're using uh, Google Maps Premier in our uh, asset tracking application. So I'll uh, frame what we're going to talk about so you guys uh, don't nod off in the middle of it. We'll do a quick overview view about our business. Quickly talk about how Trackopolis works, and then we're going to have a customer video that, that we produced um, intended for our dealer network. After that, I'm going to talk about our competitive advantage. We'll do a brief customer case study about uh, how we're solving some pains for, for one of our global customers. And then Duncan Ford, our CTO, he's going to come up and actually talk about the technical side of, of Google Maps, the key features, and we'll do a demonstration of a product we have called Rig Roads, which is really using uh, fusion tables uh, to the to the fullest extent uh, that they are available today. Uh, Duncan's also got a, a video he's going to show. We're going to talk a bit about our technology roadmap. And then I'm going to come back in and talk about uh, a project that we're working on with uh, uh, basically an environmental project. So um, we'll hopefully have a little bit of uh, time for some Q&A, and then we're going to wrap it up with a video that Google produced uh, for us about our business back in February. Natasha was up in her office, and we, we had a lot of fun, and we're looking to do the same thing tonight. So no further ado. Um, here is a picture. This is actually superimposed. Where the company's growing. I'm, I'm negotiating with the landlords right now for naming rights in the building, so I thought I'd throw that on there. That's not a real picture, but it might be in a few months. But how did we get there? Um, we started this business back in 2007, and I, I, was, I had an oil field rental business, and we were having trouble finding uh, logistics solutions, you know, uh, properly uh, or affordable sol solutions. And so what we thought was if we could beat the, the phone book, if we're using the companies that had the GPS tracking systems already in, if they could stream their position into a freight matching application, we'd be able to, to find where they were in real time, and that would help save a bunch of money. So we built a website called canhall.com, again on Google Maps, and we were going to go out and partner with these companies that were doing uh, asset tracking. So long story short, we ended up building our own asset tracking application, which we call Trackopolis. And since then, we've been rapidly growing. We were six people in October. We're 26 now. So we're, we're dealing with all those growth challenges that a, that a company will have. But to help us you know, be competitive uh, against a pretty competitive industry, um, back in the day, we read a book called Wikonomics about mass collaboration, how that changes everything. And we're going to try to talk a bit today about all the little pieces of the puzzle that it takes to be able to go out and solve problems for, for really big companies. So... Um, at this point in the business, we're actually expanding our distribution globally, so we'd like to be able to have authorized dealers around the world, and we're trying to leverage some established groups uh, at that right now. Um, so let's talk about Trackopolis. So this is a web-based application. Um, what we've done, we've integrated a bunch of different uh, devices, hardware devices. They all have a different, uh, different use or different, uh, serve a different purpose. So there's a lot of different ones, and we also send the data over a lot of different networks. So we're sending data over satellite networks and cellular networks. Um, right now, we've got recognizable clients. Uh, a lot of them are multinational, and we'll be talking a bit more about those. And they're in a lot of different verticals. So being in Calgary, obviously oil and gas is a big vertical for us, but we're certainly dealing with uh, law enforcement agencies, municipalities. Most of these different organizations, their need for asset tracking is very universal and it's not as specific as you'd think. So um, customer numbers are building, uh, authorized numbers are building, and we're dealing uh, with organizations in 15 countries right now. So, and that's going to continue to grow. So how does Trackopolis work? This is pretty sophisticated crowds, so, but I'll go through it quick. We can put uh, devices on, on a vehicle, on equipment, and even on people. And we can send back a variety of information. Obviously, location is the biggest piece of it. But beyond that, we can tie into sensors to tell you what that asset's doing. Is it on? Is it off? Is something open? Is something closed? And all of this combines to provide a lot of visibility for the clients. From a safety standpoint, workers that are working alone, there's a whole bunch of you know, legislation and things that businesses care about to keep those guys safe when they're working in those areas. So we figure out the right device. Then we figure out the right network from a cost standpoint generally. And we'll send that data over a cellular network or a satellite network. That'll go to our servers. And then that information is displayed on our online application called Trackopolis. So now I'm going to show you the video that basically we, we built this video for 
these dealers, when we're going out and talking to dealers about should you carry your product, we want to give them a sense of what their, their customers probably are feeling for pain, and that's supposed to resonate with them and then want to talk to us more about picking up the product. So I'll play this video. I think I will play this video. all over the place, in the U.S., in Africa, in the Middle East, and keeping tabs on everything is a challenge. You know, our operational costs are rising, and it's hard to control those costs if you have no visibility into the field activity. The problem with most tracking systems I looked into was they were, they were way too expensive or too inflexible. Our personnel and equipment are often outside of cellular coverage, so we didn't have a clue what was going on. What we really needed was a solid and affordable solution fast. Track everything, everywhere, anytime with Trackopolis from Cantelematics, an easy to use online tool that makes it simple to see all your remote or mobile assets in real time. From fleet vehicles in Chicago, light equipment in Munich, to stationary storage containers in Kenya or light plants in Oman. Simply log in and get a bird's eye view of your operation. Access the location and operating information for your whole fleet no matter where on the globe they are. Implementing these solutions can be complicated, but the CAN Telematics team helped us out step by step, which I think made the project a success. The system automatically tells us when something is left and comes back to a certain area. Well, we've improved safety, we've increased efficiency, and now we have the control and visibility we need. It's the new way we manage our business. Get real-time GPS tracking data with greater ease, consistency, and reliability. Trackopolis. All right, one moment. I'm going to go back to this. So that basically gives you a sense of what we're what we're doing, what the kind of, was my mic up? Sorry, uh, everybody can hear me? Um, gives you a sense of what, uh, what we're doing and, and what our product basically is. So to kind of elaborate on that, our competitive advantage basically when we're talking to bigger clients, we've got to be able to come in with the right device and send it on the right network for cost, for cost reasons. Then we have to have our online application be very customizable and flexible because these companies really are looking for uh, a, a product that is if they built it themselves. So we can, we can add certain different applications to it to extend the functionality of the, of the core app of, of Trackopolis. And then of course we put a lot of time and energy into our API because these customers, not customers and other developers are looking to tie, the, tie this data into their legacy systems that they're using and of course um, tie in other unique applications that they've built. Um, Another part of our competitive advantage, Google Maps. I'm not going to talk about that. Duncan is. But that's a key piece of, of all of the things that we need to, to put together to make these solutions work. And then from a business standpoint, you need to be able to come in. And we've had some success with being able to give them flexible terms, different types of contracts. And ultimately, our finance department hates it. But we can say, you know, what kind of arrangement would you like to have with us? And we can make it make sense. Rather than here's the shoe, see if your foot will fit into it. We're a little more flexible. So... <clears throat> And then, of course, implement, implementation. Now that somebody wants it and they like it, trying to coordinate, uh, you know, putting all these devices, different devices on different pieces of equipment in different countries, um, you really need to be able to, to manage that project for them. Um, so that's where our dealer network makes a lot of sense because we're going to have feet on the ground. Customers regionally trust these people, and they're going to be able to uh, work together, get the solution working, get people trained up, and start, you know, enjoying the benefits of it. So... Um, so, we'll talk about what we're doing for one company. So, Lane Christensen, Mineral Exploration. This is a group that actually drilled out the Chilean miners. You may remember that, that big story. So, we actually uh, provide their, their tracking for them. Uh, and we're rolling it out in 13 countries right now. So, Canada, U.S., Mexico, and then quite a few in Africa. And uh, certain, I think Australia, Brazil. It's, it's quite a big project. So, what the big pain for Lane Christensen one was is... Uh, they had a big problem with, you know, where's the equipment and can we find a, a vendor that can do this on a global scale for us? A lot of times they're looking, you know, if, if they're in Canada, they, there's only one, one company, they don't have a broad enough, broad enough view, or what do you do in Africa, right? So when we were able to come in and say we can do this on a global level, that certainly helped us out. Their operations being, being spread out all over the country definitely, um, when we were able to show them how we we're going to manage the implementation, they were impressed and they, you know, they weren't going to get that from, from some other vendors. So we could provide the right solution worldwide and help manage it and get it off the ground. So 
What's next for, so the other thing I wanted to mention about Lane was in certain areas they have different challenges. Like um, in, in Mexico, the, the security of the assets, security of the people, they're definitely dealing with some challenges there. Australia, they have you know, other unique challenges, Africa, Canada, all of those places um, have their own challenges, but we're able to take our solution and figure out what's needed for what areas and satisfy those requirements. So what's next for them is now that they know where the vehicles are, they want to know more about what it's doing. And they want to know what um, things like how far did we drill today? Can we build the customers earlier because we know that? Can we tighten up cash flow cycles you know, internally? There's a whole bunch of, of uh, benefits from having visibility. And what we, we know that when we're talking with them, that's going to continue to evolve because they're going to want to start sending files. They're going to want to start sending things to and from these assets way out in the middle of nowhere. Um, so we're going to probably be looking at other solutions and as a company, you know, as their technology partner, we'll be integrating new devices so that we can send bigger, bigger payloads to and from the assets. Of course, all of it coming back to Trackopolis. So um, that's what they've been talking to us about is the need for all that data to come into central office so that the managers there are looking at it, thinking about asset optimization, thinking about where they can deploy the rest of their, their equipment to make more money is, is going to be really important to them. So that's how we're, we're working with those guys. So um, a lot of things go into making these solutions work. Um, the big piece and the core piece for us is Google Maps. And I'm going to get Duncan Ford, our CTO, to come up and talk about what we've done with, with Google Maps so far and where we're taking it. So. Good afternoon. Uh, part of my role with, uh, as CTO of Cantelematics is to evaluate and choose different technology partners that we can incorporate into our solutions. Um, one of the things that was apparent uh, both five years ago when we started working on canhall.com and again two years ago when we started working on Trackopolis was that uh, Google Maps was ahead of the curve uh, compared to the other map providers that we evaluated. Uh, this includes some of the features such as Street View uh, and now with Fusion Tables. Um, also, also, we felt that the, the usability of their uh, zoom controls and map controls were a lot better. Um, now that we're an enterprise customer, we've actually been quite surprised on a few different things that uh, have, have gave us a competitive advantage. Um, one of these being, um, in the last couple of months, we've actually bid on a couple RFPs where Google Maps was actually listed as a requirement. Um, to this date, we haven't seen that come up as, as any of the other competitors. So. Uh, that's been a, a really good thing for us. Um, another thing that our, our tech department and programmers have been commenting on is uh, how fast the response time on our, on our support tickets that we've been issuing through the enterprise support portal. Um, and, and finally, um, the other thing we've noticed is, uh, which was a really big surprise, was the amount of uh, business support that Google's given us. Um, from the case study that we'll show at the end of the uh, presentation, um, to uh, ex exposure that they gave us at a Chicago conference. Uh, they, they did a demo for us uh, at a logistics conference uh, to being able to present here today. Uh, all has been uh, very much appreciated. And I'm going to now roll a quick uh, video which demonstrates some of the features that our engineers have used uh, through the Google Maps API to, to help enhance Trackopolis. Oh, something's wrong here. <laughs> 